enough negativity. Let's get going with some of the positive stuff here. 2020, <laughs> uh, independent wrestling from a Canadian standpoint, who caught your eye? Man, it's kind of nice because a lot of them like aren't specifically people who like came up in 2020. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure you did too, man. I went just so far down the YouTube rabbit hole of people that I just wanted to watch wrestle and oh, not clicking as many YouTube. random links as I could. <laughs> I was I was on YouTube. I was on Daily Motion. I was on, I you know, illicit third party websites that we don't talk about or whatever. But just consuming content man i was gonna say trying to watch nxt on wednesdays can be an adventure down rabbit holes no in and of kidding. itself right but um <laughs> as far as it goes for me there there are a few i think that um any conversation in canadian wrestling in 2020 if you're not talking about the voros twins whether it's for their wrestling or uh just being funny as hell um you're missing out i think they're absolutely hilarious they're wonderful individuals but um i guess most importantly to this specific conversation inside the wrestling ring they're great pro wrestlers man you watch what they were doing in the shining with nicole matthews over the last little bit they are just so so they're so entertaining but they're not um farcical i don't like that as the comparison but it's the best word i can think of on the spot they're definitely goofy individuals but you watch those guys wrestle and they're good F they're good. I don't know if I can curse here. Um, they really caught my eye. I think golden boy, Travis Williams is someone out of BC as well, that a lot of people should be keeping an eye on. He's um, I believe only 22 at most. He was 21 when him and I spoke. Um, and I'm just not sure of his birthday admittedly. So he's somebody that I would definitely be keeping an eye on. If, uh, if you guys have the ability to, which if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch golden boy, Travis Williams wrestle right here on this very same internet machine. Um, Alberta, I've been saying for the last few years, but Zoe Sager to me, it's, it's inevitable. She gets signed. Um, there are so many great female wrestlers here in Alberta right now and, and BC and Canada as a whole, but I'm, I'm incredibly lucky and you are as well to get to watch the women here that we do, whether you're talking about a Zoe or a Kat Von Hees or Nellie's Wicker or Kayla J, Kylie Morgan, whoever it may be, man, they're all great. They really are. So, um, I just, Zoe for me, not to make a pun on her finisher, but she's just got the X factor. I think for me, she's, she's going to be a star. She's absolutely going to be a star. Yeah. Personal aside, and she'll kill me for saying this, but uh, I'm kind of partial towards Kayla J because she grew up in my neighborhood, actually just behind me <laughs> over there. So, <laughs> uh, well, so and you know awesome what, man, like, succeed. So, well, and I, I always feel bad because like you say with Kayla J too, like, it almost feels like one of those things for me where I would have to go through and individually list every female performer in Alberta because all of them are so good, but all of them are so unique, right? Like you look at a Zoe Sager versus again, a Kat Von Hees versus an Ali Zwicker versus a Kayla J um, versus a Kylie Morgan. Like they're all just such wildly different pro wrestlers. Gigi Ray is another one who I think it's, it's all but inevitable. I don't, I don't like making called shots here, folks, but uh, 2021 uh, Zoe Sager versus Gigi Ray. That's going to be one of your matches of the year. And they're both going to be major stars. Um, as far as it goes though, too, like um, I really started watching a lot more of Michael Allen, Richard Clark, Sean Moore, Davey O'Doyle this year. Um, again, it just, for me, um, after I get to interview people, you get to start watching them when you're starting to prepare and all of that, but sitting down and chatting with people and really getting their stories behind their professional wrestling, it draws me to them. It, it just does, you know, and, and, uh, supporting friends in ways that you're supporting professional wrestlers as well. So getting to sit and watch them a lot more, they're just so good. Mm -hmm. So good. Right. Like Moreno Doyle are training at the new Japan dojo a couple of times, at least from photos you see online, Michael mm -hmm. Allen, Richard Clark, speaking to Tommy dreamers, 50th birthday today, yes. that man is owed an opportunity in house of hardcore. Like, again, you just talk about the great things that, uh, Albertan and Saskatchewan professional wrestlers are doing. Um, there's some of my favorites out in Ontario, Holden Albright, Jody Threat, Alexia Nicole. I'm always going to put over Tyson Dukes because by, by my opinion, mm -hmm. um, he he is certainly in contention and i am happy to say he is one of the if not the smartest people um i've just ever spoken to in pro wrestling um there's so many great people you go to the east coast cam stevens jeremiah javen there's great people everywhere there really really are 
I could I could just email you a list if you want of like every wrestler. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm trying not well, and I'm 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 trying not to name everybody because actually one of my mother-in-law's favorite phrases is if you if you treasure everything, you honor nothing. You know what I mean? Ah. So it's these are people that like over like you say that time span of 2020 and, and the early parts of 2021. Um, there is my long short list. <laughs> Love it. You send me the PDF, bro, and I'll, <laughs> I'll post it. Sounds good. We'll post a new one, new top 10 every Saturday for you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Power rankings or something too. Hey, there's an idea. Um, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah. Just the talent in this country is incredible. <laughs>